Hi there, I'm Z, and today I'm going to be walking you through uh, some of the stuff I've been messing around with in terms of uh, chatbots. And uh, in particular, I'm going to talk about how I created a uh, Python-based chatbot that I connected to um, WhatsApp using a service called Twilio. Uh, and I'm also going to be talking about another um, chatbot that is a managed service provided by Google uh, called Dialogflow. So um, let's take it away. So maybe first uh, I'll talk about um, the Python bot called uh, Chatterbot. So I'm using this library that's provided by uh, on Python, and it's a uh, simple way to generate automated responses. And uh, how it does that is uh, unlike some of the more complicated libraries out there or approaches that uh, use neural networks. Uh, Chatterbot basically um, soaks up um, historical training data. So it could be things like, uh, example, uh, they provided um, training conversations. So it's a statement and a response, uh, statement and a response. Or uh, in my case, I decided not to use their uh, pre-cooked uh, conversations and I actually fed it the um, WhatsApp chat histories, uh, my actual WhatsApp chat histories. So you notice that it's in a broken Malaysian um, Manglish, um, but uh, we'll see what happens. So what it does is once you feed it that information, it uh, sorts the um, pairs of um, query and replies from the training material and whenever you send in a new query, it tries to match uh, based on all the training information uh, to similar queries and it returns the appropriate response using something called a logic adapter. So it's not a uh, the most cutting edge in terms of uh, machine learning, but uh, it's really quick to set up uh, and it's simple to, to, to program uh, and doesn't take very long to train. To try it out. So uh, the Python um, setup is uh, I've imported the library um, and I've set up a bot, instantiated it, and I have put in the training material in a folder and basically the program knows to look into that folder and then soak it up and then basically use it to set the training. Now, uh, once the bot is trained, I'm deploying it using something called Flask. Uh, and Flask is a framework that allows you to serve up your uh, whatever you've written on Python uh, on a uh, web application. And basically, uh, what it does is you're building here, uh, well, in my case, it's a bot. I've wrapped that in a Flask. Uh, app where basically using a post method, the bot, uh, whenever it receives information, will send a response. So basically, this bot is trained, and uh, whenever a message comes in, the bot will give a reply based on the incoming message. And uh, there is a bit here around using Twilio, I'll get to that in a moment, but basically, it's some syntax that I've had to use uh, to so that the um, service that I'm using to connect WhatsApp and the the web app works. But uh, that's what Flask does. So when I run this, uh, where the it's currently running on my local PC on this port, now I need to connect it to uh, WhatsApp. Now how I do that is uh, it's a two-step process. So the first thing I have to do is I've got to use something called uh, ngrok, and ngrok is a service that uh, if you uh, specify the port that you want exposed, so in this case it's port 5002, uh, it creates a, oh, wrong one, yeah, this one, it creates a temporary session. Uh, so again, if you're doing this um, professionally, you probably want to use something else besides ngrok, um, a proper way to connect it because ngrok is uh, great for testing stuff out um, but it only gives you um, sort of uh, limited time sessions but in any event uh, 
you've got a URL that exposes the uh, address, sorry, that exposes the port externally. And I'm using that address in a service called Twilio. Now, Twilio is a uh, is a service that allows you to do a whole bunch of things. Um, I recommend that you check it out for yourself. But uh, basically, it's a way that you can programmatically connect um, your applications in whatever language. So it could be Java, it could be Python, and uh, link it to SMSs or WhatsApp or uh, even phone calls. Um, and I'm only going to show you this one portion where basically I take that address that you saw a moment ago. I'm going to stick it in here. Let's see if that works. Did it go through? Uh, 75. No, it did not. Uh, let me try this. No, I didn't actually save that, right? Let me just do that again. Okay. Let's do that. That right? No, that does not look right. Hmm. Why is it not cut and pasting? Okay, let's try it one more time. Ah, okay, we got it. And I've got to stick the word backslash process because uh, in my code, the app root is uh, backslash process. And I'm going to hit save. Uh, let's do that. Save. And in theory, what should now happen is when I type something here, hopefully it's working. Yep, so it received the reply, ah, and it's thinking, so now it works. So basically, whenever I send a message, uh, how goes, how is it going? A message goes out, is received by uh, Twilio, and you can see it goes back through and, and grok, and you can see that uh, it's being run on the uh, Python program that's set on my PC locally. So uh, as you can see, it's not super coherent because it's trying to match this uh, probably is fixated on the word going, which is why I must have had a conversation about booking a taxi. But uh, hey, uh, it works. So uh, this is how I set up the chatbot. And um, the other bit now is uh, the dialog flow bot. So dialog flow is a managed service provided by Google. And uh, it's a managed service in the sense that uh, it's meant to be very minimal code. Uh, and how it works is it's a lot simpler than building it yourself in Python. Uh, because essentially what it does is you set up intents. And intents are sort of like conversation topics. And uh, for each conversation topic, you provide... Uh, detail around um, some training phrases that recognize that helps uh, dialogue flow recognize that you are getting into this particular discussion topic and you have a set of responses that uh, it will match so whenever you type something into dialogue flow uh, I'll say for example how was the game it well this one uh, is just it doesn't understand what was said, so I probably need to ask it something else. Uh, what did you think of Westworld? Okay. <laughs> well, uh, it, this sounds like uh, one of the... Uh, what it does is it takes this message and it tries to look at all the different intents and it tries to to review the training phrases and tries to match to see which particular topic is the user trying to talk to me about. So that's where it uses the uh, natural language understanding um, to sort of do that. Um, and it's a lot simpler to set up.
compared to um, the uh, the other chatbot um, and because it's out of the box uh, managed service it also does things like automatic integration so you can set it up with uh, Facebook Messenger or even this uh, web demo page which uh, I didn't have to build it just came with uh, your dialogue flow account so uh, in a nutshell uh, that's how I managed to set up the uh, back and forth conversation 